Episode 145. Let's run! For the past five years, there had been no news about Ginny at all. But now, there was a message that came from Peter. This feeling was like a sudden clap of thunder, making Jane unable to sit still. She had thought that after Ginny had disappeared for so many years, she would finally be able to continue living well and not have to worry about anything anymore. But why? Why did she suddenly return? All these years, she had fooled everyone by losing her memory and even trying to chase Natalie and Rita away. She had already done so much. So why did she come back now? Before Jane could come up with a solution, Ginny was already getting closer and closer to her. When Summer arrived home, her cell phone beeped with a message. She had received an interview message from a start. In the past few years, she had learned to design and now had earned some reputation in the industry. However, the name she used was Summer. She didn't disclose her personal information, so other than Rita and Natalie, no one else knew she was Summer. And this time, if she was going to use that name, she would get into a fight with Jane. Peter finally calmed down after carrying all the essentials upstairs. All the way, he was worried that Summer would run away from him at any time. Luckily, she didn't. If you're not willing to return to the Dawson Manor, I will stay here with you. Peter held Summer's hand with a helpless look in his eyes. I need some time to get used to life here. Can you please not disturb me? She was afraid that Peter would cry. Peter was disappointed. He thought that she would be able to understand his intentions along the way. But it seemed that it wasn't so. She said that she would give him a chance. Facing Peter's somewhat aggrieved expression, Summer felt a little awkward. Why did she feel like she was a bad person? If she could, she really wanted to tell herself not to go too far. Then rest early. Call me if you need anything. Peter's eyes looked sad, but he didn't insist on staying. Summer was the only person left there. She looked around. Everything there was familiar. Rita had kept all the original decorations and objects. After taking a shower, she sat on the bed and watched Rita's video. Seeing the two children alive and kicking, her heart, which had been holding back all this time, was finally at ease. They had packed their things and rushed over. Summer was going to have an interview to start the next day, so naturally, she wanted to make her best impression. She had to sleep. Lying in bed, her mind was a mess, and she couldn't sleep at all. Summer thought about things for a while, then got up and called the realtor. She asked if there was an apartment she could buy in the same area. If she could stay there, it would be more convenient for her to meet her children in the future. After doing all this, she finally fell asleep. She was unable to sleep soundly in a new environment. All night long, she had been dreaming. And the most repeated part was her wedding. She seemed to have returned to the past, to that scene. She was a bit afraid. Afraid that those people would laugh at her. But she still clenched her teeth and allowed herself to get through the wedding. However, just as she was about to put the ring back on the wheelchair, she saw that Peter was sitting in another wheelchair. She didn't know how long he had been sitting there, but he was looking at her with a devilish smile. Summer took a few steps back in fright, instinctively wanting to run away from that man. However, 
The scene in front of her eyes suddenly flashed. She saw Peter gently smiling at her. He smiled and said, Come back to me, Summer. I will love you. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Summer was suddenly awoken by the alarm clock. She got up. It was already 5 a.m. Normally, she would have woken up early to prepare breakfast for the children. But now, the entire place was empty, causing her to be stunned for a moment. Summer sighed, got up, and went running. After having children, her physical fitness was very bad, so she enrolled in a Taekwondo class. After sending her children to school every day, she would practice the whole morning and then work in the afternoon. Such a peaceful and harmonious life made her feel very content and at ease. But now, she had to face it all again, and it made her weak. But with others knocking on her door, how could she not fight? Good morning. A deep voice startled Summer. She turned her head and saw Peter running next to her in casual clothes. Summer frowned. What are you doing here? I'll run with you, Peter suggested. With his casual attire, he looked exceptionally fresh. His eyebrows were slightly raised. She really didn't expect this guy to have such a spirited side. Chairman Dawson is really relaxed. To think that he would rush over so early in the morning. I'm really touched. Summer's tone had a bit of laziness in it, giving people a feeling that she was calm. This flirtatious feeling made Peter's eyes widen unconsciously. I have a lot of feelings for you. Peter replied with a brilliant smile, which attracted the attention of a few women who were also running there in the morning. Summer looked irritated. He actually didn't have any standards, and he used a beauty trick here. Did he really think that she would fall for his trick just like that? It was simply a dream. With anger in her heart, her steps naturally sped up. Peter curled his lips, saw her unwillingness, and quickly chased after her. He had already decided that he would once again pursue her. As long as he could be by her side every day, he didn't care about anything else. He firmly believed that Summer could change her mind. Only when the both of them were drenched in sweat did they stop at the entrance of a breakfast shop. Because there were too many people eating breakfast, Summer bought two cups of porridge and two buns and prepared to eat them outside with Peter. Peter's mouth twitched. He had never done such a thing before. He wanted to take Summer away from here. However, seeing that she was peacefully sitting there, eating her food, he hesitated.